All right, hello everybody. Um, I'm gonna give you a short introduction to the Entity Reconciliation Community Group at the uh, W3C. So many of you are familiar with OpenRefine. It's been mentioned a few times in the conference. Uh, and OpenRefine is a fantastic tool to, for working with data. And um, one of its many uh, features is uh, reconciliation, which um, allows you to uh, align your own data with identifiers from a data provider, like authority IDs, for instance, Wikidata, that's the one that's included in, in OpenRefine. It also allows you to extend your local data with these with this reconciled data. So you can pick uh, fields from the authority data and kind of enrich your local records with these informations. And the way that this works is that OpenRefine talks to a remote reconciliation service using a defined API. So it's not something that is built into OpenRefine, but it's something that anybody can plug in. Uh, so anybody can any data provider can basically plug into OpenRefine by providing a service that conforms to this API. So the idea of this community group is to document and improve this existing uh, uh, reconciliation API in OpenRefine and to promote it as a standard for, for data matching on the web and on also to provide tools around that to make that actually feasible. And one of these tools is the test bench, which on the first level is a tool to test reconciliation services. So if you are building a reconciliation service for your data, um, you can use this test bench to test if, if your service conforms to the API and would actually work in OpenRefine. At the same time, it's a central overview of available services. Um, it currently lists 36 services. Um, so that's a nice place to see what's available. It's basically a table listing all the uh, all these services, and then for each service, um, the the particular features supported by that service, because there are lots of uh, different levels of reconciliation support, basically that a that a service can provide. Another part of the of the community group's work is what what's called the census, which is which aims to provide an overview of this whole reconciliation ecosystem because it's not only about these uh, services that I mentioned, but also about different clients. So it's possible basically to use this API, but not from OpenRefine. OpenRefine would be the one, is the one, the first client for this protocol, but other clients can, can uh, use this protocol and software libraries, things like that. Um, so to, to give you an idea about what I mean with these clients, so one, one example is Alma Refine. It's, I don't use Alma, but it's basically a kind of a plugin for the Alma library management system provided by Xlibre so that from within Alma, you can reconcile your records with different data sources. So you have this, this Alma Refine app and the app itself again can then talk to different reconciliation services just like OpenRefine itself could do. A completely different example would be the Kokoda mapping uh, tool, which is a standalone tool uh, for mapping different vocabularies, which also internally uh, uses this, this protocol, this API. And then, of course, there's like the heart of the work of the community group at W3C is, of course, the, the actual specifications of this reconciliation API, um, which is based on this respec software, which many of you probably have seen and which other projects at W3C use. And so there's always a published version of the current draft and so on. Right, so the, the actual work of the group happens on GitHub. There's a GitHub organization. And then for each of these areas that I just mentioned, the test bench, the census and the specs, there are different projects on GitHub. So the barrier to participate is really, really low. You can, can contribute on these in these projects. You can contribute code. And um, of course, there's also the, the mailing list. So all the discussion is mostly happening on the mailing list. So, so there are very different levels from technical working on this actual text, uh, test bench application to uh, writing the, the specifications or improving them. So um, participation is very welcome here on all these levels. All right, so that's it. Thanks a lot.